For tourists visiting India, the following festivals have been specially arranged for the traveller. We recommend you don't miss them if you're around. Reminiscences of the mighty Mughal and Fadepur Sikri near Agra at the Akbar festival. Sittirai festival in Madurai, Tamil Nadu. Colour and exuberance amidst jubilant celebrations at the Uti Summer Festival. Dance, music and surrender to ecstasy at the Shimla Summer Festival. Kangra Valley Tea Festival in Kangra, Himachal Pradesh. The magic and exotica of Ladakhi culture at the Hemis Festival in Leh Ladakh. International Mango Festival in New Delhi. In January each year, the town of Trishul in Kerala witnesses the most spectacular pageant held anywhere. To the beat of the traditional music, the Panchavadya, 101 caparisoned elephants in regal finery and ornate headgear are proudly exhibited. The elephant has a strange warm and strong bond with Kerala, revered partly because of the linkages from religious mythology, partly because nearly every temple here has adopted the elephant as a mascot. His gargantuan size, weighing all of 4,000 kilograms, requires a daily intake of 250 kilograms of roughage. Interestingly, the elephant can also be easily lulled into total submission. and in captivity, it is man's best friend. The center of religious ceremonies on festive occasions. The annual Elephant March, organized by the Department of Tourism, has a festive and carnival-like atmosphere. As a finale, the tourist gets an opportunity to ride the elephants on a grand march. A unique experience which in terms of sheer splendor can compare with the great royal processions from ancient India. The visitor refers to it as God's own country for obvious reasons. This strip of green fertile land in the southwest coast of India is a fascinating destination. The swaying palms, the placid backwaters and tranquil countryside. Kerala is a delightful holiday resort. The frenzy of these oarsmen seems an aberration amidst this tranquility, and the roar of the cheering spectators a little out of place. But the snake boat race is as much a part of the Kerala heritage as the lazy lagoons on whose banks the crowds throng to root for their favorite team. These races between indigenous boats, some with over a hundred oarsmen, have all the frenzy of competitive team events. As it reaches its crescendo, so does the roar of the crowd. Here in Kerala, especially Aleppi, the boat race has become an annual event which draws visitors from all over. The coast of Kerala was visited by merchants long before Vasco da Gama led the Portuguese to India. Kerala was not only a spice center, but a transshipment point from the Moluccas. And in these ancient commercial transactions, the Arabs and the Chinese made their mark. To this day, further north in Cochin, evidence of their visits exist. The local fishermen even today use cantilever Chinese fishing nets. But no holiday in Kerala is complete without a visit to the sun-kissed beaches. The Kovalam beach, near the capital, Thiruvananthapuram, is one of the finest in the Indian subcontinent and a favorite watering hole for travelers.
There is good surf on most days, and like in all beach resorts, the golden sand and the salt-filled air are ingredients for the perfect holiday. Kalaripayatta is one of the oldest living traditions of martial arts in the world. A ritualistic and spiritual discipline, delicately synthesized, which found roots here in Kerala. This martial art form, which developed in medieval Kerala society, was integrated into the lifestyle of its people. The training of the student in the Kalari, or arena, begins at a very early age, with an initiation ritual. The symbolic rituals form the part of training to this day. The training includes stretching movements, basic body postures, leaps, and other flexibility exercises, all of which are crucial elements of the system. Today, this ancient martial art form is being revived, and in many calories of Kerala, the choreography of combat is being imparted. The scientific method of full body massage is part of this training, which helps improve muscular texture, flexibility, and stimulates circulation in the body. The complex and rich repertoire of Kalaripayat weapons demand distinct skills depending on the weapons handled by each warrior. And the training is aimed at gaining such total control over the weapon that it becomes an extension of one's own body. The traveller to Kerala can only marvel at the density of its cultural and natural wealth. And all this only enriches and embellishes the memory of the visit. Kerala is well connected by air with all major Indian cities. It also has international airports at Thiruvananthapuram and Cochin. Train services connect major cities and towns of Kerala with the rest of the country. There's an extensive road network throughout the state. <laughs> 